Hello everyone and welcome to the introductory video of Shimiji, the desktop companion that's available right here at Kilkacon.com. Let's start off by heading to my website Kilkacon.com so we can download the software. Let's go down to the software link at the bottom and then click download now to download Shimiji onto our computer. This is a Windows 10 computer that's yet to have Shimiji installed onto it before. So the first step we need to take is we need to extract Shimiji to a folder. As you can see currently it's inside a zip as is it's not going to work. So for today we're going to be using the Windows tool up available at the top here to extract all the files to a folder. As you can see the files have been extracted so here we go. Shimiji has now been set up and is ready for use. Let's give it a go. But wait we don't have Java installed so let's go and install Java right now. Let's go to the Java website java.com and of course we'll now need to just click that big red button saying free Java download and click agree and start free download. The software doesn't take long to download so run it. As you can see all these buttons are fine and it'll download the installer. And after a few moments the installer should spring into life. Here we go. And of course it offers to give us some nasty pop-ups. We don't want spam. Spam is not wholesome family entertainment. So let's get rid of it. It'll give us nag screens. No, we don't want it. Just click next. Thank you. Now it's installing Java. Excellent. That's what we wanted. And boom. Java has been successfully installed. Excellent. Java pop-ups everywhere. We don't need them. Go away. Go away. Come on. Go away. Thank you. Excellent. Let's run Shimiji. And as you can see, Shimiji drops down into life. Like a swing him left, swing him right, throw him up into the air. Shimiji is good to go. Climbing up on the walls, and he can also climb up on the ceiling. But let's now issue him some commands, shall we? So the first thing we can do is to right click on him. This opens up a menu. We can call another Shimiji. He's starting to walk away from me. We can dismiss this one. He's irreverent. Then we could also dismiss all the others other than this guy. Or get him to follow. Oh, we could also set some behavior. Oh yes, we could get him to pull up a Shimiji. And... Up, 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 up. And puppy goes. There you go. And we could also get him to jump. Jump into the air. Leaping onto the ceiling. Excellent. But there's also another set of menus here in the system tray. If we look down to the bottom right, right click here. We've got the ability to access some settings, the first of which is to choose Shimiji. If you have other Shimiji installed, they'll appear in this list and you can activate and deactivate them at will. We also have this list in here, the Choose Interactive Windows. Any windows listed in here will be interactive and the Shimiji can play with them. For example, let's open up Notepad. Yeah, Notepad, excellent. And as you can see, this is in the list. So. Boom, Shimiji can play with it. It can throw it up, it can land on top of it, it'll jump from wall to wall. Oh yes, if we're not careful too, we could also throw it out. He's leaping over there and whoop, he fell off. Never mind. <laughs> so there's one there's a couple of more few things I'd like to show you about Shimiji and how to use it. And also some problems you might have. So the first problem you may have is that when you double click Shimiji, it doesn't actually run. So what you may need to do is to go open with. If you've got WinRAR installed, it loves to take over. So you may need to go right click, open with, and then make sure that you set the Java runtime binary as a, and always select that, that app to open jar files. So you may need to set that up if WinRAR broke it, because WinRAR likes to break it. Okay, let's also experiment with something else that we can do. So that over here, I've got our DeviantArt group, shimijidesktoppets.deviantart.com. You can get to this from kilkacon.com. So let's go to the gallery, and I've got one in particular I'm going to show you guys. And in, I believe it's in the other o o original characters. No, no, it's other characters. Beam in here. Excellent. This this one will show off the power of my particular version of Shimiji. Yes, the Doramon Shimiji. Excellent. As you can see, all the frames are here. So here we have a link to the download. But watch out, this download is a RAW, and we may not have WinRAR installed. Go away, adverts. 
So, if you don't have the ability to open RAR files, I'd highly suggest uh, 7-Zip. It's a free program that'll let you download that. You can also use the very latest versions of WinZip. That will work as well. Alternatively, you can go to some free online websites that will convert a RAR file into a zip file for you to extract. But ultimately, that's up to you. Use Google that it's a resource that you can use to gain access to these files. So I'm going to download this now and extract it to a folder. Just a moment. Boom. As we can see, Shimiji has been downloaded. Now you've got a few options. One is you could just run this one straight out. Uh, most people who upload Shimiji's to the group will just have a Shimiji jar right in there and you can just run him as is. Alternatively though, there is another option. If you'd like to have multiple Shimiji running at once, the best way to do that is to use the loading method available within the Shimiji program. So to do this, what we need to do is to go into here and we need to rename this one to Doramon. Let's spell it right and not annoy anybody. And then we're going to drag it over into here. So we've got Shimuramon. Uh, Doramon and Shimiji. We'll also need to grab the code that belongs to the Doramon one. So to do this, we just click and drag the conf over into the Doramon folder. And as you can see, the conf files are there, as well as all these files here for the images. And now if we run Shimiji, you'll see, of course, the regular ones here. But if we now use this menu I showed you before, the Choose Shimiji menu, you could see Doramon's popped up. We can now use them both at the same time. And as you can see, we could drag him around. He's really angry about it. Drop him down onto the floor. Boom. Excellent. And now those two guys will have their merry way on the desktop and no doubt start breeding. If we just pull up Shimiji here, up goes the door, into the door. Door explodes and then two more are there. And he's flying out of a helicopter hat. It's all too wrong. So let's now make things a little bit more sane, shall we? There's one more feature that I'd like to demonstrate to you, which I personally use and I find really enjoyable. So access the uh, run menu for your computer. You can do this by right clicking on the Windows icon and clicking run, or you can hold down the Windows key on your keyboard and push R. This will open up the run screen and then I want you to type in shell startup. This will take you to this folder here. Now we're gonna make a shortcut. And now let's navigate to the Shimiji folder. And inside the Shimiji folder, click the jar. Excellent. And that's all you need to do. And now, if we get rid of him here, double click it, and. But the important thing is by doing this, the Shimiji will run every time you start the computer. So if you want your companions to never leave you alone and eat mysterious circle cakes, then uh, yes, now you can. So I hope this video has been useful in helping you get Shimiji set up on your very own computer for the first time. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other videos. I have a large number of gaming videos. And of course, feel free to check out the Shimiji Desktop Pets group, which will gain access to a wide variety of characters. As you can see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you around.